My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson and I work with forward thinking organisations to elevate their emerging leaders and create the ultimate next generation of leadership. But what a lot of people still don't know is I'm also the founder of the Learning and Development Collective, where driven and passionate L&D professionals come together to exchange trending topics and innovative ideas and the best suppliers for their 2023 calendars. We did used to say, Kieran, up until this point in time, their 2022 calendars, but it's coming to the end of the year now, which is a scary thought. But regardless, I'm very, very happy to be here and joined today with the incredible Kieran Zerner, who is a keynote speaker and a corporate facilitator who helps leaders become the best influences they possibly can. Kieran, welcome to today's interview. Woohoo! Thank you for having me, Lindsay. I'm so glad to be here. I am loving watching what you and your community are doing. So it's great to be here. Thank you so much, Kieran. And we're here today to talk about the evolution, who you're actually coming to join us for as a guest expert. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, the evolution is our new program in the metaverse that supports LD professionals in their career development. But Kieran, you're here to talk about what you know best, which is influence, and you're actually coming to share unleashing your inner L&D influencer. So a lot of our members are finding it tricky at the moment to get their initiatives approved by the whole company and off the ground. So before we even get into your topic, I'd love to know a little bit more about you. Share with our forum members, share with the community who are watching today, a day in the life of Kieran and why you love doing what you do. So my week is varied. Sometimes it's a keynote speaker at an event talking to leaders or business owners. Other times it's like as a facilitator going in to facilitate uh, workshops or training. Um, I also do some facilitating for a great organization called The Learning Circle, where we go and work with leaders uh, on a particular leader, uh, leadership courses. Mm -hmm. um, or sometimes I'm in the office like I am today and I can do all my sessions online, like interviews like this with you or training sessions online or just catch up on emails and do a bit of work. So it mm -hmm. can be varied and that's what I love about it. Um, but it always involves coffee, family and a little bit of exercise and getting out in the sunshine. I love that. I think you and I have that in common. I have a couple of coffees a day too. And <laughs> yes. And then a few teas as yeah, well. Yeah, that's it to get yeah. through the in between coffees. Yeah, 100%. Um, but your special superpower is influence and you're coming to share that expertise with our evolution members, specifically around unleashing your inner L&D influencer. So tell us a little bit about that topic. For sure. So my background is I worked for about 16 years uh, at Westpac. And in that time, I was a communications manager. If you could communicate it, I've done it. Whether it was in project comms, whether it was in uh, business unit comms, whether it was uh, sustainability, whether it was stakeholder, uh, it was all sorts of different aspects of communications. Then when I left Westpac, I worked for New South Wales Small Business Commissioner. So I was working stakeholder comms and I transitioned into working with small businesses. And the last six years, uh, I've been working as a speaker and trainer, helping leaders and businesses about how they can understand their branding, but also communicate better in whatever situation that is. Mm -hmm. So I guess why, what we're going to talk about in this session specifically is you're an l and expert, you have an idea. How do you get that idea into action? And part of the, the, the I guess, the ability, the uh, success of that idea coming into action is your ability to influence. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not only about the idea, it's about the ways, the strategies, the different, uh, I guess, tactics that you will try over time um, which will help that be successful. And look, it's not going to be a one size fits all. And so that's why I am really looking forward to this being a discussion mm -hmm. so that, you know, maybe we set the framework, we can set some big ideas, but then we're actually going to talk about, make it really interactive about what is your need in your specific area and just to be a sounding board to work through some strategies of what to do. So that's what we'll be doing. I love that. And I know our members are going to love that because they request it. And hence why we're here today. Mm -hmm. It's such a powerful tool to be able to say, hey, this is what's happening in my world and have someone like yourself come in and say, okay, well, why don't you try this solution or give this a go mm -hmm. or try communicating it that way. And it can be such a minefield corporate comms as well and influencing or creating that influence that you need to be able to do to be able to get your initiatives off the ground when you're battling scenarios and environmental factors and influences to use it in a different way that are not even in your control. So how do you be the bigger influencer, which is very much 
and our forums talking about it at the moment and our evolution mm. members are looking for support within their careers. But tell us a little yeah. bit about what successful influence in a business for an L&D professional could look like and the results they might be able to get as off the back of it. Yeah. So it looks like many things and I think it depends on the situation. So um, there's the, certainly there's, there's the idea of the, it, like I think yours is quite tactical what your members were requiring so maybe you've got an initiative and I want to influence to get this success this this initiative off the ground mm -hmm. and so in that case it's about knowing um who are the different stakeholders um what do I want those specific people to think feel and do like what are, where do I want to take them from and where do I sorry where do I want to take them from and where do I want them to go and then what are the different strategies that I'm going to use to influence that group to make it be successful? And there's going to be different things that are going to work for different people. Um, I think when it comes down to this specific, you know, when it comes to corporate comms, where I can add value is I work across so many different organizations. So whether it's bank banking and finance, I work with media, I work with government, I work with small businesses, I work with so many different businesses. So I can look at what's been the best practice, what do other organizations do, and allow it to be a bit of a conversation. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried that? And so, yeah, I guess to that point is what, and what does it look like? What does success look like? It's when the outcome is successful, is when that thing gets over the line, like the, the thing is done. Um, and so, you know, that takes time and it takes strategy. And so that's what we'll be talking about, how we can help people be successful with their specific issues based on what's happening out there, things people can try. Yes. I, and I think what's so powerful about that is it can be really emotionally draining to feel like you're hitting your head against a brick wall all the time when you're coming up with these new and um, incredible ideas to help the organization or, or you see a way to actually help them achieve their goals increase their engagement level um lower their quiet quitting levels ensure that their hybrid trainings go actually go ahead you know, these sorts of big things that so many lnd professionals are battling right now and they come up with amazing solutions that fit all the criteria and then they get to that meeting or send that email and they get the reply with sorry, not right now, or worse, they get no reply at all. And that's such an emotionally draining experience. So I'm really looking forward to showing the L&D members, the evolution members who are L&D, um, what you can actually help them with. Because I feel like for you, it's not just something that's a strategic and tactical thing you're going to teach them, but you're going to give them some peace of mind and some power back in their lives, which is such a great feeling. But tell us a little bit about the times when you've been successful in your in your influence and your communication and how that changed the game for you as an employee. Mm -hmm. So I think there's, as I was saying before, it depends on the circumstance. So, you know, if you're working with a board, so if you need to, uh, and I've done this before where, you know, um, at various times, like if you're working on a big strategy and you want the board to tick it off. So, you know, what's involved in the influence from that perspective, mm -hmm. like who's on the board, um, what, and this is where it, that idea of what do you want them to think? What do you want them to feel? What do you want them to do? Um, what is the message you're trying to get across and what is the method? And so you might be, all right, in this one, I need to be brief. I need to look at what the evidence of what's happened before. Uh, I need I need some proof points. I need resources. Uh, I need to know impact. I need to know risks. And then uh, what's the method? You know, everyone else is putting board papers through. So yes, I need to have that. But what if I instead I did a presentation instead of this like like mind wateringly boring PowerPoint yeah. pack, I bit I did a video, and I put you know this or something that a lot of people aren't doing right now is like literally I had a board put together like a mind map you know something that was colorful and creative and infographic something that I could stand next to and talk to. And it wasn't like, you know, the PowerPoint where you're like, I'm sorry, you guys, you're not going to be able to read this. You know, <laughs> I tried a different method. So that could be a way to get something really engaging and through. So thinking, so that's like a, a board meeting, right? Another one might be, I've got a big project and I need to engage employees. So what are the different ways that I'm going to do that? So again, it's like, okay, well, who are they? What do they need? What do I want them to do? What's, what's the message? What are the key points that they need? Not what I want to tell them. Because sometimes, you know, we're all like, we've got this big, long list of things. No, no, no. What are the three things that they need to know right now? And what's the method? What are the different ways that we could do it? 
So do I send them a really long email that again, is that eye-wateringly boring? No. <laughs> What's a different way that I could put that message together? Um, it, and you know, we sometimes do the talking head videos as like the, hello, I'm blah, blah, blah. And here's my message for today. It's like, okay, well, what if you did? And, um, you know, what I love right now is those, um, it's the sketch videos where you've got to put the really complex ideas into a video and you might do it through the writing of, um, information, like in the, like a visual yeah yeah you know what i mean yeah, I guess One of those ones. Ones. <laughs> so powerful so mm -hmm. powerful and you could even get someone on fiverr to do something like that and to put a so it gets this really complex idea into a really simple video um i did a storytelling workshop with woolworths recently with their uh, learning and insights team and that was their challenge is how do we get these complex idea these data points into sorry i said that like an american data points data points and make it into some uh, really compelling ways and for them it was all focusing on the method what's the different ways that we can tell this story really simple really visual thinking about you know the different ways people learn as you all know learning auditory kinetic how can we create these um the message using method in a way that's going to connect with people so yeah, there's a, and there's you know i think some of the things so that was board employees and another one i think that your l d professionals will also think about there's just an example when i worked at westpac and we were trying to get forty thousand employees to become we called them our tomorrow sustainability champions and so we almost thought of it like a marketing campaign so how do we market to our business what does that really mean it's basically about creating the information the message in a way that is engaging and continuously doing that over time through different you know is it an event is it a um you know when they walk in the foyer is it about a training program um and the key point which i, I think would be useful is about how do we engage the leaders so we actually give people accountability for the things mm -hmm. that they need to do and the most successful pockets of the business was where the leaders were involved where they had buy-in and where there was actual activities and things that they had to do. So anyway, there's lots that we could talk about. That's why I think it's going to be really bespoke. Mm -hmm. um, but that's three sort of scenarios where you might influence uh, within the organisation. Yes, I love that so much because you just brought up so many different points that we've talked about, not only in the evolution, but the forum itself in our last session as well. So, and the power in this particular session where you're joining us for us is a roundtable. So we'll be able to discuss what needs to be discussed instead of what we think needs to be discussed, which is yeah. really super powerful and we couldn't be more grateful. So at the end of the session that you're joining us for, what's one key takeaway or the nugget of gold you want our evolution members to walk away with that those who watch this interview who may not be part of the evolution we want to be a part of well i think it comes back to that that sort of framework piece which is the you know before we go into any interaction uh it's the the framework piece is like all right well how do we prepare for this well first of all who is my audience what do i want them to think feel and do what is the message mm -hmm. and what is the method and thinking about that in a in a micro or a macro you know I, i've done plenty of comp strategy so i get that in the macro and i've seen that in the detail but even in the micro you know you're about to have a really and this is what i actually this is probably what i love you know you're about to have a meeting with a leader or a or the key um stakeholder so you're thinking about before you get onto that i've got we always jump into message we always think i need them to think this 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 because i like, hold on what's the method how am i going to do this is the zoom call the right way to do it or should i be doing face to face so thinking about that that sort of framework is really useful in the micro and the macro it made me incredibly excited for all, all these additional pieces that we could potentially discuss in our session as well so if you haven't joined the evolution yet and you are watching this video make sure that you comment around send me a message or follow the link that's around this video that you will be able to see and we can help get you in so you can join this next session with kieran you will also have access 24 7 to our online in the metaverse co-working space and our online resource library which includes the resources and recordings from all our prior sessions as well so if you missed one and you know you want to come along and have a look at it make sure you reach out oh it's been an absolute pleasure as always and we'll look forward to seeing you in the evolution mm -hmm.